a chi-squared test on a contingency table with SPSS. Our example dataset contains a categorical variable which indicates whether consumers heard about the brand by word of mouth. Is there any difference between males and females in this respect? Or, in other words, is there an association between consumers' sex and having heard about the brand by word of mouth? An association between two categorical variables can be retrieved with cross tabs, which is in the descriptive statistics menu in SPSS. In cross tabs, we select one variable for the rows, usually that will be the independent or predictor variable, and we select the other categorical variable for the columns. Now I recommend to check the display clustered bar charts option. It will produce a bar chart that will help you understand the results. In addition, we need statistics. First of all, the chi-square statistic, because we're going to apply a chi-square test. In addition, we want to know the size of the association. We have two nominal variables, so we can select phi and Kramer's v, or lambda and Kendall's tau. If we would have had ordinal categorical variables, we probably would have selected Summers D or Kendall's Tau B. Okay, let's continue. Then under cells, we can add some information to the cross tabulation. We can add the expected counts and or the column percentages. That will do the job. Let's paste the command and run it. Here's the output. First of all, we see that we have no missing values. That's nice. The second table is the actual cross tabulation to which we will return later on. And then below we have the chi-square test. The Pearson chi-square test is the test value that we normally have a look at. And we can interpret Pearson chi-square test if our cells have sufficient number of expected counts and we can see in note A that all cells have expected counts of 5 or higher so that is fine but there is a second condition for using Pearson's chi-square test and that is that the cross tabulation contains more than two rows or more than two columns and in our example we have a two by two table two rows two columns in this situation, we should not use the chi-square value itself, but instead use Fisher's exact test. The p-value of Fisher's exact test in this example is 0.16, well above 0.05, so we cannot reject the null hypothesis that there is no association in the population. The next table, directional measures, tells us the value of Goodman and Kreskel's tau. In this example, it is about 0.05, so if we want to predict word of mouth from consumer sex, we would say that there is a very weak association. Let's scroll down to the symmetric measures. Here we have a value of 0.21 for Kramer's V or minus 0.21 for phi which indicates that if we disregard the direction of the association, that there is a weak association between consumer sex and having heard about the brand by word of mouth. Depending on the measure that we use, we will conclude that there is a very weak or weak association. The bar chart tells us the nature of the association. As we can see, among the females, there was a much larger part which did hear about the brand by word of mouth, the green column, whereas the green column among males is very small compared to the blue column. So basically, among females, there is more word of mouth than among males. We could also see this in the cross tabulation itself. If we have a look at the column percentages, we see that among the people who hear about the brand by word of mouth, the yes column, 66% is female and only 33% is male. Whereas the 
percentages in the no column, not having heard about the brand by word of mouth, is in the opposite order. There we find less females and more males. Basically, this also tells us that word of mouth is more prevalent among females. This concludes our interpretation.